30 miles south of Tinseltown, there's a small backyard vineyard. Every year, the grapes are full and flavorful. But no vintage will ever match 1979. Even here, in a land where dreams come true, lightning in a bottle only strikes once. 1979 was quite a year. Vince Ferragamo was the backup quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams, and so uncertain of his NFL career, he studied medicine during the offseason. But when Pat Hayden broke his throwing hand in the 11th game of the season, the Rams' only option was the wild and unpolished Ferragamo. Any time in life when you get an opportunity, you really need to be ready and prepared. I knew my time would come, and when it came, I, I tried to make the best of it. There was a plane flying over the Coliseum, and they said, uh, fire the ammo, play Ferragamo. That's going deep up the right for Waddy. Vince came in, didn't really play that much. He's there, in the end zone, touchdown! Got off kind of a you know, slow start, and then really kind of caught fire. He was phenomenal, much different style than I, he was much bigger than I, he had a much stronger arm than I, really a good deep ball player. The part-time medical student took over a losing team, won four of his five starts, and got the Rams to the playoffs. Vince had a phenomenal season. You live in Hollywood, and sometimes these Hollywood scripts come true. It was the kind of story only a Hollywood screenwriter could dream up. The funny thing was, a Hollywood screenwriter already had. Warren Beatty's new comedy, Heaven Can Wait, is chock full of magical moments. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just one year before, Beatty wrote, starred in, and directed the worldwide sensation Heaven Can Wait, the schmaltzy story of a quarterback who comes out of nowhere and leads the Rams to the Super Bowl. It was so similar to, to what actually transpired on the field. It's the same story, the same story as, a, as what happened in 1979. The quarterback comes in, wasn't playing, all of a sudden he starts, the team changes, starts to feel real good about themselves. Back to throw, Ferragamo steps inside the pressure, fires up the left side. Did I die? Touchdown! As I look at the movie, I go, is that me or is that us? What is your opinion of the Rams this season? What's my opinion? Mm -hmm. well, I think they're going to win it. Are you impressed by the way that they play? Oh, yeah. In hindsight, when you look at it, it is like prophetic or something maybe that was just destiny's writing on the wall or something i don't know it's it's pretty weird ferragamo had another thing in common with Beatty: the ram's leading man had movie star good looks fish you're the hottest quarterback in the nfl right now. you're extremely good looking and all the fans love you and they say you ought to be on the silver screen. Jody, everybody says your husband looks like a matinee idol. What do you think when he's out there passing and looking so good? It didn't really oh. bother me real deep. You broke a lot of hearts <clears throat> when you got married. Well, I know one I didn't break. It was my wife. He never was really full of himself, so it, it was okay. It's hard for me sometimes to think of him as a movie idol because he's just... Well, he's my husband, and he's, he's not a movie star at home. He doesn't walk around with his sunglasses and <laughs> combing his hair. Life kept imitating art in the playoffs. Ferragamo completed only nine passes against the Cowboys, but in the final minutes went mano a mano with the man in the hat. Tom Landry was trying to use myriad amount of different defenses. He was trying to get into my mind and trying to see if I can break this kid up a little bit. He used a five-man defensive line. He went to a prevent. He went to his flex defenses. Malabasi putting his fate in the hands of Vince Paragombo, the young quarterback 50 yards away. That last play, I dropped back to pass, and they were, they were in a prevent. The game on the line. Paragombo back to pass. He throws. And I threw the ball, and the ball was tipped. Rowdy with the catch of the 25 to 20. Touchdown, Rams! Touchdown, Rams! There's no way that that pass play should have fit in there. Not with that prevent. Tom Landry was in the perfect defense. They had everybody back there. And it's just a freak of nature. <laughs> that play 
fingertips away, tipped, and the ball went right into Billy's hands. Mysterious plays catapult teams into the Super Bowl. Freak plays like that. The next week, Destiny smiled once again on Vince Ferragamo. Even though he failed to put up a single touchdown, he got the Rams to the biggest stage of them all. The Rams are in the Super Bowl, and they're heading back to California as NFC champions. The script for Heaven Can Wait called for Warren Beatty to be reincarnated twice. And in Super Bowl XIV, in just the eighth start of his career, Ferragamo played like the second coming of Broadway Joe against the team of the 70s, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Our team was ready for the fight, and we knew that we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. The Rams are winning the battle of the line of scrimmage. They're getting off the ball, and they're beating the Steelers. They weren't able to control us early on. We controlled them, and we took it to them. Ferragamo the other day said, I know we're going to win. The Joe Namath type statement. Right in front of me was Tony Danza and Danny DeVito, who are huge Pittsburgh fans. They didn't know who I was, so they were cursing Vince a lot. An option pass, he throws downfield, leaping drop, touchdown! The Rams back out in front by a score of 19 to 17. It was unbelievable. Even now, when I watch the tape, I think we're still going to win. The game unfolded just like heaven can wait. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, the Steelers took the lead. Now Bradshaw firing downfield, there goes Stallworth. He pulls it in at the 30, and it's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. In the movie, Warren Beatty led the Rams to victory with an unorthodox two-minute drill against the Steel Curtain as time expired. The Rams, 86 yards away from the Steeler end zone, threading by five points. Maybe one more miracle remains in their satchel. As time wound down in Super Bowl XIV, Come on, Vince, baby! Put it down, Pittsburgh! Slow! Ferragamo found himself in the exact same situation. Looking downfield, throws downfield. Oh, oh, Ferragamo tripped up, regains his balance. When you play against a champion, he shoots it over the middle, long for. Get on, a diving touch! You gotta play like a champion. Ferragamo back to pass, shoots it over the middle. I thought, one of my prettiest passes of the day. First interception of the game off the arm of Ferragamo. Waddy was wide open, Ray. Waddy was wide open, Ray, on the post. Didn't see him cross in the middle. I, mean, I don't, I don't, when I look back and you say, how could you not see that guy? Uh, I just didn't see him. Never has a guy in defeat has distinguished himself as Vince Ferragamo has today. Incredible poise for a guy that's played just eight games. When you stop and you look back at, at the game and the season that we had, all you can look at is, did I give it my best? Did I do everything I could? Did I hold anything back? 1979 was a magical year. But time, unlike heaven, never waits. Ferragamo played seven more seasons of professional football, but never recaptured the year of destiny. These days, his heart is in the grapes, and their power to conjure magic from the past. I like to relate it to family. Every vine that I have in my vineyard is named after someone. My grandparents have their name on the vines. My mom and dad, good friends. Warren Beatty, 